friends, we are back today with another video and hopefully I'm going to be clearing up a few of the questions that you guys have been asking me about the Peter Griffin voice, maybe some slightly more detailed explanations and tutorial as to how I do it and at the same time to answer a couple of very, very, what, what's the word, popular questions from you guys about me doing the voice. So the first one is prove it that you're not using a soundboard. Okay, so two hands right here. I don't have a third hand. I'm not some sort of alien. Hi, my name is Herder Buffalo. Hey, it's Peter Griffin. How you doing? Are you kidding, you bastard? So hopefully that proves to you that it's not a soundboard. So from now on, the comments that you guys leave me saying, Oh, well, you could be using a voice changer. And you know, so I'm putting that horrible face there as well, because that's sort of how I picture my haters. I picture them to be just like ugly people behind screens that can't talk properly. I don't know. That's just the way I look at it. But yeah, the second question that I really wanted to answer was, when did I realize that I could do the voice? Because I've answered this sort of before, but not really in that much detail. So, about six years ago now, I was watching Family Guy with my stepbrother. I'd never heard of Family Guy. He was a massive fan, and I just thought, hmm, okay, I'll give this a go. I never usually watch a lot of TV. It's not really a TV series that I could say that I watch religiously. I watch a lot of sport on TV. But I watched Family Guy, and I just found Peter Griffin, and of course all the other characters as well, absolutely hilarious. I couldn't stop laughing. I was watching it when... I don't, I don't really think they've made that many seasons, but it was on BBC Three, which is a TV channel here in the UK, and I just thought it was a lot of fun, and just randomly, just because I always used to like doing really random, funny voices. I can't do as many now as I used to be able to do, and for those of you asking that question as well, I'm going to try and do some more impressions for some different videos and stuff, but this is a Peter Griffin video today, so let's talk about it. And I just randomly started trying to, you know, replicate some basic phrases that I was hearing on the screen, like, hey, hey, it's Peter Griffin. And just random stuff like that, and that's when I realized I could do it, but in the process of making YouTube videos, the voice has actually got a lot stronger from my perspective. I can now say a lot more phrases and a lot more things I couldn't say probably a couple of years ago, which is pretty awesome. So it's glad, I'm, I'm glad that making these videos has enabled me to improve the voice. But um, yeah, a lot of you guys saw the tutorial video. It's nearly got like 90,000 views now, which is just incredible. But um, like I was saying about tilting your jaw to the side, it's like, hey, hey, it's Peter Griffin, and if I was just to say it just normally like this, you see my, my face is sort of symmetrical right there, I'm like, hey, hey, it's Peter Griffin, it doesn't really work, it's not as, it doesn't c come across as clinically, I guess, as it does when you go, hey, hey, it's Peter Griffin, are you kidding? <laughs> so that, that's pretty much all you can do, and in terms of your vocal cords, because I know there's, there's a lot of maneuvering when you do a different voice, you have to really change the norms as to what you're used to and the ways you speak. And I've never really thought about it. Let me just see. Hey, hey, it's Peter Griffin. I try to tense my neck a bit. As you can see, like, right there, my Adam's apple. Uh, you can't really see that it's loose right now. But when I say this, like, hey, hey, it's Peter Griffin. I, I can feel myself tensing up. You've almost got to tense your neck and your vocal cords as much as you can without, obviously, like, strangling yourself. But, you know, then you do, you do that, tilt the face to the side. Hey, hey, it's Peter Griffin making a tutorial video for YouTube. And, well, it's very difficult because I saw my buddy Elite Blades doing a tutorial video yesterday for how he does the Herbert voice, the Cleveland voice, and all of the amazing voices that he can do. And it's, it's so hard because for people like myself and him, doing voices, it's, I don't want to say it's a natural thing because, of course, it's something you've got to work on. But in terms of trying to teach you guys how to do it, that is honestly the best that I can do. You've got to really dig down into those lower tones of your voice you can pull out. Like, you know, it's, it's easy to speak like this, but at the same time, you've got to really dig down lower to pick out these voices. So, all I can say, tension neck muscles, your vocal cords, tilt your jaw to the side, and try to really dig into those lower tones of your voice. But yeah, guys, thank you for watching today. I just thought I'd clear up a couple of questions, and, well, I didn't really, went in, I didn't really go into any more detail than the original tutorial, but honestly, now I've tried it again, trying to teach you guys, that is literally the only tips I can give. If you want to send me any attempts of your own of trying to do any sort of voices, then Twitter is definitely the place to try and send me those. My Twitter link will be down in the description below. It would be great to interact with you guys on Twitter. And yeah, thank you for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and I'll speak to you soon.